What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. I thought I'd just make a video, uh, not really like a podcast, but kind of like a podcast. Like, it's just gonna be me talking to you guys about random stuff for quite a while. But it won't be like traditional podcast hour long or two hour long, or, or maybe it will be that long. Who knows? Because I did not plan this. <laughs> it was sort of last minute, it just popped in my head. I'm like, it would be cool to talk about this and make it a yearly thing. So this is um, 2016 to 2017. I'm going to be talking about things that really caught my attention last year and things that are catching my attention this year that I can't wait for and all this cool stuff I'm going to be talking about, the good and the bad of 2016 and the stuff I can't wait for or can't, can't wait for to what? The next year. <clears throat> so of course we'll start with 2016 and... I'm going to start off on a negative note, because it's 2016, haha, lol, funny memes. And that's exactly what the first negative note is, the memes. I, why? Okay, so lots of celebrities died last year, and it was very sad. We lost tons of, like, very popular icons that millions and millions of people loved to death. And that was really sad. That doesn't make 2016 a bad year. I mean, celebrities die every year, and I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to make light of it. I'm not going to say, oh, well, David Bowie's death isn't that bad because lots of celebrities die. Haha. <laughs> no, it is very sad and very tragic. What I'm upset about is when people used the deaths for 2016 as terrible memes. Like, whenever I would see a celebrity die, I'd see, like, people on Twitter being like, ugh, 2016, come on. Like, it was some kind of Seinfeld joke or something, like, <laughs> like, um, Carrie Fisher died. 2016. Ding, 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 It was, it was so annoying. And what's worse, they had, like, famous people doing it. They had, like, people I looked up to and respected doing that kind of meme stuff. And it just really seemed odd. I was like, come on, dude, I look up to you and you're making a joke out of someone's death. I mean, there's nothing bad about grieving over every single death, because they're all sad and tragic, but you're not even grieving, you're just using them for your meme fuel, and that's not right, that's terrible. I can't stand it. So thankfully, hopefully, with 2017, if someone dies, we don't get a, oh, well, at least it's not 2016, or, come on, 2016 did this already, or, like, at least you can't be as bad as 2016, you know, those kind of stuff. So, for 2017, I'm really hoping, really, really hoping, um, if someone dies, they don't make a meme out of it, and they just grieve the person and pay their respects to whoever passed away, and not just use them for meme fuel, because that was irritating. But the other memes in 2016 were great! Harambe, Dat Boy, <laughs> the B movie, oh man, the B movie. Oh boy. The B-movie meme was so huge, I even got sucked into it. I read the entire script, but it got taken down by DreamWorks. I'm not even kidding. Uh, people, you can go to my community on Google Plus and ask them. They all know. They all know that I did the B-movie script. It was... It was truly a fun time, and the B-movie script has lasted well into 2017. I mean, it started as the nut shack with the word replacement... Then it was B-Movie, and then it was We Are Number One, then it was The Legend 27. But so far, We Are Number One and B-Movie have stuck around the longest. Like, I haven't seen any The Legend 27 memes in a while. It was sort of like a week-long thing, and the nut check seems to have fizzled out. But We Are Number One and B-Movie are still around. Um, I think B-Movie, just because of how ridiculous it is, and not forced to like The Legend 27, or sort of just not well-known like The Nut Shack, because B-Movie is a DreamWorks movie. So I think B-Movie stuck around because it's a popular movie and it's just so unusual and weird, like Jer Jerry Seinfeld is a bee. And then <laughs> We Are Number One stuck around because it, it, it's a good meme. It really helped Stefan out. He was he has cancer and stuff, so... And the memes were, like, linking to a GoFundMe page or a Kickstarter or whatever it was to go send him money and help him to pay for the medical expenses. So it was a good meme. And like I said there before, there was Harambe, Dat Boy, Caveman, Spongebob. There's all these memes this year. Meme memes just seemed very prominent in 2016. And they weren't hurtful memes or anything. They were just good old laughy dick memes, so that's good. Good memes. 
Uh, gaming in 2016 was really good, in my opinion. We got The Last Guardian. Um, I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, but they got Final Fantasy 15, I think it was. I'm not sure. Um, but we also got the Ratchet & Clank remake, which was really, really good. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. Um, there was plenty of other games that came out this year, and we got the announcement of Crash, of uh, the Insane Trilogy for Crash Bandicoot, which is coming out next year, and I'm super excited for. Um, so yeah, there was just a lot of good stuff that came out for gaming last year. Not, not much stuff that I personally would be interested in, but definitely a lot of stuff that was good for the industry. Um, this was also the year that I got my PS4. Yay! And I have not regretted buying it a single bit. A single bit. I love it so much. And next year in gaming, there's so much I'm excited for. Next year is going to be a good year in gaming for me, because, for one, the Crash Bandicoot remix, remasters, whatever you want to call them, reboots, are coming next year. And there's rumors going around that it's going to be the February on the 28th, like some Brazilian website leaked the dates or something. Hold on, gotta burp. Ugh. 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 Like some Brazilian website leaked all the dates and stuff, so I really hope it comes out in February 28th. Hopefully Activision has had enough time to polish it and make everything look good. Because, I mean, they announced it during E3 last year. They were probably already working on it. So, that's that's not a bad development time for remix of the original three. Because the original three games weren't very long at all. <clears throat> so I can't wait to see where Crash goes in the future. Because I have a feeling that this... The Insane Trilogy is going to do unexpectedly well. Like, people are expecting it to do well because, I mean, it's Crash. It's the return of Crash. But I feel like it's going to do so well. Hold on. I got a little bleep on my computer. What does this say? Windows can't find the files of the theme. Do you still want to save this theme? I don't know what that is. I'm going to X out of it and hope it doesn't ruin my recording. Uh, please don't. Oh, I can't X out of it. Okay, yes or no? Uh, I hit no. Hopefully that's not bad. I don't know what I don't know what it means by theme. I don't know what it's trying to do. <clears throat> but anyways, um, things I'm ex games I'm excited about for in 2017. The Crash remakes, uh, Tekken Seven obviously is finally coming out in 2017. Like it was announced in 2014 because it was the 20th anniversary of Tekken, and then they had it come out in arcades like at the end of 2014. As like a test, and then it officially released in arcades in 2015, Faded Retribution in 2016, and now Tekken 7 is finally coming in early 2017. Hope I'm hoping for like a March or February release, something earlier in the year, because it's just been so long. Like I've been patient this whole time. Like I haven't complained about how long it's taking at all. Because we're still getting new information, we still get to see all this cool gameplay. And I know we want to play it really bad, but it's not done yet. Do you really want to play something that's unfinished? Come on, guys. You've been hanging around EA too much. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, EA. Not really. Your games are terrible. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, I just really want them to finish the game. I want it to do well. I want Tekken to be back in the mainstream because it sort of fell away after Tekken 3 when they tried all that weird stuff with Tekken 4. And Tekken 5 and Tekken 6 didn't get much attention for it. Neither did Tekken Tag 2. But Tekken 1, 2, 3 got so much attention. So I hope Tekken 7 really brings this series back. And it looks very good. Tekken has a very unique atmosphere to it. And Tekken 7 is definitely amping that unique atmosphere up more. So, I hope it does well. Next up in 2017... Ooh, there was something else. Uh, the Tekken 7, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild should be out next year. They announced it was coming next spring. Several, several delays. It was going to be like 2015, 2016, and now it's 2017. Like, Nintendo, when are you going to release it? <laughs> but, yep, they delayed it for the Nintendo Switch. But I will be getting the Wii U version. I will not be getting the Nintendo Switch, which, by the way, is also coming out next year in... March, right? Yeah. But I will not be getting a Nintendo Switch. It just didn't catch my interest. Unless it has games that I truly care about, then I'll get it. But from all I've seen, it's just Skyrim and then a bunch of ports of Wii U games. But I already have a Wii U and most of the games they've uh, they've shown ports of. 
So I'm going to get The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U, and maybe, maybe I'll get a Switch if it interests me enough, but for right now, I'm not really impressed. I mean, I am impressed about what the console can do, but what's the point of buying a console if it doesn't have games? Because that's the reason I bought a PS4, because the Crash Bandicoot games are going to come on it, uh, Ticket 7 is going to come on it, um, then they already had a bunch of great games, like great, uh, Grand Theft Auto V, uh, Mortal Kombat X, uh, they had all the Shantae indie games and all that stuff, they had Ratchet and Clank, so, and the Naruto Ninja Storm games, and J-Stars, all that cool stuff. So they had a lot of good games already, and they're coming out with more good games, so I was like, yeah, PS4. But Switch, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so that's why I'm sticking with my PS4 and saving my money until Switch really captures me and pulls me in. <clears throat> <clears throat> so yeah. Oh, another game I'm excited for, Kingdom Hearts 3. But I don't know if it's coming out in 2017 because, like Breath of the Wild, it keeps getting pushed back. Well, not really getting pushed back because they never announced a date in the first place, but... Ooh, it's so hard. I'm trying... I... Mm. Like, with Tekken 7, I guess I could deal with waiting because they're giving us new info and showing us all this cool stuff, but with Kingdom Hearts, they're not giving us anything. Like, we're not getting to see any worlds, we're not getting to see any more party members, we're not getting, we're getting to see any bosses or cool gameplay or anything. I mean, obviously I don't want them to spoil it or all that kind of stuff, but we're literally getting nothing. Come on, Square Enix. You want people to buy your game? Let them know about it. Build up the hype train. So... I feel bad for all the Kingdom Hearts YouTubers. They literally have nothing to talk about. Like, HMK, at least he has Zelda, but that's getting delayed too. But at least it's coming out soon. Um, HMK has Zelda to talk about, so he's he's not too bad off. But people like Skyward Ring. He had to resort to doing Steven Universe reviews and super clickbait titles. It's so sad to watch. So sad. Hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, those are games I'm excited for in 2017. Kingdom Hearts 3, if it comes out in 2017. Crash Bandicoot, uh, Tekken 7. And then there are other games that I'm interested in, too. Like, there's one called Detroit Become Human. You're like this android dude trying to solve a mystery or something. And the decisions you make determine the outcome of what happens in the end. So, <clears throat> I that really interested me when they showed that off at E3. And I can't wait to see what they show off at E3 this year. It's, it's all going to be good. I'm going to... This is going to be a good year for gaming, I can tell. <clears throat> now, something it was a really good for last year was animation. Oh, man. Animation was incredible last year. Um, we got a ton of animated movies, like so many. There were quite a few duds, but there were lots of really good ones, too. Like, the duds include The Wildlife, Norm of the North, Ratchet and Clank, you know, that stuff. But then the really good ones, like Moana and Zootopia, and Sing, and <clears throat> Kung Fu Panda 3, and just so many good movies. So I just thought it was a really good year for animation. It set a lot of records, too. Uh, Finding Dory set some records. Uh, Secret Life of Pets set some records, despite it not being that interesting. <laughs> I honestly got really bored at Secret Life of Pets, but lots of people liked it, so whatever. <laughs> mm. But it was a super good year for animation, and I... Oh, and I'm trying to think. Okay, yeah, I was like, did Pixar do anything? And I'm like, oh yeah, Finding Dory. I just talked about that. I, for I always forget Finding Dory for some reason. I mean, it was such a good movie. I don't know why it keeps slipping my mind. Like, whenever I talk about animation this year, Finding Dory just always goes away. But yeah, it was a good year for animation. And it ended on a good note with Moana and Sing. Sing especially. I mean, don't get me wrong, Moana was a super good movie, but it was just the Disney Princess formula, whatever. I I don't know what it was about Sing. I just really, really enjoyed it for some reason. <clears throat> but in 2017, let's see how animation looks then. We've got the Emoji Movie. Oh boy. That's going to be bad. Ooh. I don't even know I don't I don't even know what to say. I'm just stunned that that's even a thing. That's happening. Um, but we also have Smurfs The Lost Village coming in 2017. That looks really good. It looks way better than any of the Smurfs remakes. Or or live-action um, interpretations of the Smurfs. They're not really remakes, because Smurfs never really had any movies to begin with. But the it looks so much better 
than those live action hybrid movies with the Smurfs. So I'm very happy that they went with the more traditional style and they actually look like Smurfs instead of gross wrinkly troll creatures because they looked horrifying in that live action movie. But they look so good here. So I'm very glad that it looks great. So happy, so happy, so happy, so happy. <clears throat> and we also have Despicable Me 3 coming out next year. I'm very excited. Um, I am a fan of the Despicable Me movies. Uh, if you don't pay attention to the Minions, they are very, very good movies. Like the first and second one were super good. And the third one already looks like a complete riot. I'm going to die laughing. It has Trey Parker in. I love Trey Parker from South Park. And all of his other work, too. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Mm. So yeah, it just looks like a really funny movie. Like, I burst out laughing when Gru got stuck in the giant mess of bubblegum and he's hanging in front of the building and singing Happy Birthday. It was just so awkward and hilarious, I couldn't help it. That was really funny. Like, I don't know who they have writing this movie, but they're doing a good job. Uh, other movies that are coming out next year. Uh, the Boss Baby. Um, I was a bit interested in it at first, just because it was funny. I was like, ha ha, baby talking like a grown-up, ha 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 ha. But I got less interested because the animation, it doesn't look too detailed. It looks very basic, and the premise overall just doesn't seem that interesting to me. But I'll still watch it. It's not like I'm going to be like, oh, this is terrible. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be much. <laughs> Ooh, hiccups. And something else that I think is coming out um, this year, I'm not sure, but Captain Underpants movie. A Captain Underpants movie. Uh, I think it's done by Blue Sky or DreamWorks. I don't know. Um, because they're both known for interpretations. Blue Sky with the Peanuts and DreamWorks with Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Um, but I th I think it's Blue Sky just because of how the style looks. Because a, te a teaser picture was shown... And it was following the 2.5D style that the Peanuts movie used. And it looks really good. The teaser picture alone already makes me want to go see it. <laughs> mm. So, it's going to be interesting to see what the Captain Underpants movie ends up like. I, um, I'm, I know it's going to get a bad review already. Like, I can't. Like, even if the movie's good, just because it's Captain Underpants, it's going to get a terrible review. I could already tell you. <laughs> Poor Captain Underpants. But also... Oh, hold on, my eye. Also, there was another movie that's coming out next year, and I'm trying to remember it. Another animated movie. Uh, Cars 3. Oh, yeah, Cars 3. They made a very... A very, um... Intriguing trailer... I wouldn't say interesting, I'd say intriguing. Although I guess they kind of mean the same thing. Like, it's confusing. They have, like, Lightning McQueen crashing, and you're like, what? What's going on? But then again, that's all they show. And then you could easily find out what happens to him online. I mean, you know he's going to be okay, because it's Disney Pixar. Like, I mean, I know Up was sad at the beginning, but that's Lightning McQueen. That's the main character, not someone close to the main character. That's the main character. Name one Pixar movie where it's the main character who dies. Like, the f complete focus of the entire plot. It, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, now, last but not least, I'm going to talk about the events of 2016. I saved this for last because I don't think anyone made it this far. And I don't want to hear anyone whining. But last last thing I'm going to talk about is events for 2016. And the only thing I really have to talk about is the election. Oh boy. What a ride. I Now I have to say it was, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. So many arguments left versus right. Just uh, battling it out. Uh, it, it was vicious. Truly a very vicious time. But I am very thankful because that election got lots of people into politics and history and all that. Of how history repeats itself and things work in the past. And I voted for Trump. And, um... <clears throat> yeah, Trump is our president now. And I'm I'm going to happily watch his inauguration on the 20th of this month. And I can't wait to see what he does as our president. So, that, that that's what I'm excited for for 2017. And this is pretty much done. I don't have anything left to talk about. I've talked about the memes, the animation, the video games, the events of 2016... 
and what I'm excited for and all these things for 2017. So, can't wait. Oh, I also have stuff planned for my channel in 2017. Really cool stuff. But, I'll save that for another video. See you guys some other time.